Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Cooking with Lisa. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope that you will subscribe and give this video a like once you're finished watching it. Today, we're going to talk about that 100-foot statue that is in Brazil. Please take a look at this map to see where Brazil is located. And as you can see, Brazil is also bordered by Guyana. It is the country where I was born and grew up in, and I lived there for some time before moving to the United States of America. When most people think of Brazil, they probably think of the Amazon rainforest. The incredible beaches are the samba and carnival. But what about all the other things that Brazil is famous for? From its vibrant culture to its rich history, there is so much to discover in this amazing country. Brazil is famous for its stunning beaches, rainforest, and diverse cities. It is known as the country of football with world-renowned footballers such as Pale and Neymar, of whom were born in Brazil. It is also home of some of the most famous man-made and natural landmarks in the world, including the iconic Christ Redeemer statue. This statue is 100 foot tall and it is a statue of Jesus Christ over Rio de Janeiro and it was struck by lightning on Friday on its head and this picture went viral on social media. Ever since this image has been posted on social media, it has gotten over 21.5 million views and I have the video to show you that it actually happened. Have a look. I'm going to play that again and this time I've slowed it down so that you guys can see it better. That was a massive lightning. I've never seen lightning so bright and so deep ever. Now this is a picture that someone had caught on camera where the lightning has struck the head of the statue. Now some people say that this statue looks godly because of how it is. You know in the Bible it says that God never showed his face to anyone. No one has ever seen what God looks like. And since no one has ever seen what God looks like, people are still creating statues of what they think God may look like. For example, this huge statue in Brazil. God said not to make any statues or any graven images, nor shall we make idols or bow down to them. But you know, people these days don't want to listen to God. They just want to do whatever they want to do, and then they expect to get good rewards in the end. But God is a just God, and He is a fair God. And if you're not living a godly life, then you will be punished. There is no one that will go unpunished for their sins. If God says not to bow down to a statue, but yet you think that it is right because the Pope is doing it, then you will have to answer to God for that, because that is called idolatry, my brothers and sisters idolatry and god hates idolatry god says that he is a jealous god and you should not have any other gods besides him so if you're doing this please please repent of that sin and turn away now jesus is coming back soon for all his righteous people and you do not want to get left behind to be destroyed with this evil world jesus talked a great deal about heaven but he talked three times more about hell than he did heaven Matthew chapter 25 verse 41 says, Then the king will turn to those on the left and say, Away with you, you cursed ones, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his demons. Now, what is Jesus saying here exactly? Jesus is saying that the eternal fire, which is hell, was made for the devil and his demons and not for man. Some people ask why a loving God will send anyone to hell. Well, my question to you is, why would you reject a loving God? Why do you reject a God that wants to love you, care for you, protect you, provide for you, give you happiness and love that are permanent and not just temporary? Why would you reject a loving God that died on that cross for your sins so that you do not have to suffer in hell? Today is the time for you to give your life to Jesus Christ. His death was not in vain, but it was for you because he loves you. And you will never find any greater love than the love that Jesus has for you. Today is the day for you to give your life to Jesus Christ. Do not worry about what people will say about it. Jesus is the one that's going to judge you in the end according to the way you live here on earth. Do you want to really suffer in hell for all eternity? Think about that. Why are you rejecting Jesus today? Is it because you're afraid what people will say if you accept him? Is it because you love to live in sin and you don't want to turn away from your old wicked life? Or is it because you simply don't care about where you're going, which is hell, by the way? 
Or is it because you have suffered so much in your life and you decide to blame God instead of blaming Satan, which is the enemy and which is the reason why you have went through so much suffering? Keep in mind that the devil is the biggest liar, deceiver and manipulator in this whole entire world. He was kicked out of heaven because he wanted to be like God. He wanted to be in God's place. He wanted God and the other angels to worship him. That is why he was cast out on earth. And from the moment Satan was cast out from heaven down to earth, his mission was to destroy every human being that God has ever created. He wanted to destroy all families, all children, everything, because people are God's most precious creation and Satan hates you. He does not love you at all. He does not have one ounce of love in him. He hates everything that God has ever created and man is the biggest thing that he hates. That is why he's trying so hard to take you to hell with him. That is why he is turning you against God by making all of these false religions to pull you away from the one true living God, which is Jesus Christ. Do not listen to the devil. Do not be deceived. I really hope and pray that this message touches your heart today and I pray that the Lord will open up your eyes to see that the devil is really the deceiver and the manipulator and the liar here and God has nothing to do with the struggles you're facing in your life. May God bless you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please share it if you wish. Give it a thumbs up and have a blessed day. Remember that Jesus loves you and take care and take care of those around you. Bye.